Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do a video on a video editor, open source video editor on Linux called PyTV P I T I B I. If you want to install it, just uh, on like Carmicola, then Ubuntu Software Center, click on it and then search for PITIBI and install it. And if you're on other distro, then I mean, if you're on other, other version of Ubuntu, then you can just uh, uh, launch Synaptic and search over there or sudo apt hyphen get install space PITIBI on terminal window. I love this app, I give it 7 out of 10 despite it not being so cool. Okay, I will tell you why I use this app a lot. I use this app not to edit videos, but to convert videos. I'll show that later on. Okay, here you can uh, import clips. Click on import clips and you can import clips over here and it will give you some small information uh, with regards to the video. We have 614 to 42. That's the resolution of the video with 30 FPS. Yeah, that's 30 FPS is the frame rate of the video. Single channel audio. Vorbis audio and 44 kz frequency is the is the audio in this video OGB with OGG Theora and OGG Vorbis okay I hope it wasn't confusing actually right now I am confused because this is the fourth time I'm making the video okay relax mm, yeah you just like drag this video over here you can like drag this over video you can drag multiple videos over here you'll get uh, you'll get waveform and snapshot of the video. I'll just remove this video. Okay, I'll just like delete this video. Yeah. You can split this video into multiple parts with the razor tool over here. You can click on razor tool and just click anywhere in the video and you can clip, you can like split it up and you can move it anywhere. Yeah, don't try to do that. Obviously, it will make it will spoil your video if you want to like make a nice video right but if you know what you're doing then yeah you're cool there are not much options in here no video transitions no video effects that is kind of sad no transitions no video effects probably they're going to implement that feature in the later versions because it's just in point three zero point three point three yeah and uh, we have another feature over here grouping and ungrouping maybe if when you add multiple clips over here you can just like group it and ungroup it and you can play the video over here yes uh, sorry that's my yeah you can just like click on the video and play it over here yeah you can play it over here and and what nothing if you check the preferences over here, you'll be laughing. Look at this appearance. There's nothing much in here. Nothing. Change the color of the like background clip. Okay, you just like can like change the color and the font. That's it. Whether you want the waveforms and the thumbnails. Nothing much. There's nothing uh, much to configure in this app. And plugins, no, none so far. Maybe they're going to implement it. In the later versions and the only reason I love this app is the render project what I do is like most of the time I just like drag my clips over here I don't do any editing but this is what I love just look at this okay this is the default template 6722576 is the is the PAL PAL DVD template with but that's not DVD template right this is just a resolution with Theora encoder and Vorbis encoder so OGG Vorbis as the audio and OGG Theora as the video codec and you can choose the container obviously OGB will, will be the container okay no no okay I'll show you the other features let's modify it we don't want this so here we have some predefined templates for your DVD and full HD and HD and other like mobile formats QVGA VGA resolution video formats if I choose like 1080p here, here it will gray out the resolution if you go for custom here you can like change the resolution and the frame rate you can go up to 60 fps which is kind of cool and this is the amazing part this is the only reason I wanted to make this video not for the video editing part look at the container support it has just look at this it's, you can just go on scrolling I mean it just never ends just look at this 
and look at the format suppose real media PSP MP4 3GP MPEG 2 MPEG 1 DVD MP4 MOV Metroska Flash 9 AVI ASF almost all the formats that you can think of these are actually mixer like like mixer that means which uh, links a video and audio which the container format supports I hope that wasn't confusing um, I will choose for example just look at this it, it, it has like normal containers like over here like these are like normal libraries and these are ffmpeg libraries these are like standard and these are ffmpeg libraries um, yeah I will choose mp4 for example you could choose avi too so mp4 supports these many video formats x264 mpeg4 this is like uh, DIVX and this is um, JPG moving moving JPG okay and we have got again I guess that's it there yeah nothing much and as far as audio is concerned it supports AAC MP3 yeah AAC and MP3 now if you go for other if you go for other container like AVI here it will show all the audio format it supports and video same it supports a lot of videos x with DIVX MPEG 1 M no MPEG 4 not MPEG 1 sorry and MPEG 2 I think it supports yeah it supports MPEG 1 and MPEG 2 you can you can add it up I don't know whether it will play properly or not you can like experiment it yourself it supports a lot of this is what I love actually just check this out if you know how to con uh, configure the encoder okay this is the encoder right so you can change the settings over here this is the bitrate whether you want in CBR VBR pass 1 pass 2 like single pass or multiple pass you can choose it and you can change the quantization and if you want like some advanced features over here you can disable chroma cartoon material if it is cartoon trellis uh, con quantization trellis quantization is really handy uh, it increases the quality if you know if you're into video encoding this app is a must for you especially f just for converting videos that's it and you choose the Video correct, audio correct, container, press OK. And you just like choose the file. Output file, save it somewhere. You if you if you have chose if you have chosen AVI as the video container, then you have to specify dot AVI as the extension. You have to write the extension. If it is OGV, if it is OGG Theora, that's the video, then you have to specify OGV. And if it is MKV Metroska, then you have to specify M dot MKV yes that's pretty it I use it mainly for converting videos this is the best tool I find it better than uh, AVI DMX though AVI DMX has a lot of filters this doesn't have any I still like it and you can still convert if they are like in the future version you will find some nice transitions so this could be a great container contender for the default video editor in future version of Ubuntu and next time inshallah I will do another vid uh, like a video on open shot video editor which is also amazing it, it got everything but right now it is not that stable it just doesn't work on my system I don't know why so I guess that's it assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh